Hi guys, Paul Ronto here from Run Repeat, and today we're here to check out the Gelcano 27 from ASICS. This famous Roadrunner is in its 27th iteration. Let's just dive right in and talk about everything that this shoe has to offer. First off, the story behind this shoe, the Gelcano has somewhat of a cult following. Again, this is the 27. It's been in production since 1993. It's hard to believe this shoe's been around for 27 years. Um, but ASICs really are the master of iteration. They believe in something called Kaizen, which is the Japanese word for continual improvement. And, and honestly, they have. They've improved this shoe every year. There's a lot of debate in the running world on how much stability and how much control you need in a shoe. This shoe is a stability control shoe, so it's designed for the, the runner who pronates or has flat to low arches. 10 years ago, I would say most of the shoes you saw on the market were stability control shoes or motion control shoes. Today, you see a lot less of that. I'm not sure if it was uh, the, the minimalist revolution in the early 2000s, but today you see a lot more neutral shoes that let your foot flex a lot more. You'll see in this review, the shoe's pretty stiff um, there's not a lot of flex right here in the midfoot. Its purpose is to help those that overpronate, to help them avoid injuries like knee problems or tendonitis uh, or shin splints that are typically associated with that issue. First off, they made the uh, the foot grooves or the grooves in the outsole here uh, a little deeper so that this shoe would flex a little bit more. It still doesn't have a ton of flex. They redesigned the mesh upper from the 26. Uh, these little holes on the top, the vent holes are on a diagonal now. They're a little bit bigger. So this shoe breathes a little bit better. One of the other things they updated is the heel clutch on the back. You can see here there's this external hard plastic. The heel is very stiff. There used to be a little wing that came up under your ankle on the 26. They've gotten rid of that. This heel cup is supposed to be lighter in the 27, but also more rigid. Uh, it's supposed to lock your heel in nice and tight. To be honest, that's one of the issues I had with this shoe. I had some heel slippage, so I'm not sure if they executed this perfectly. All right, let's get into the specific features of the shoe. First off, the upper. The upper on this shoe, again, engineered mesh. It's nice, it flexes, it breathes. The holes on it are actually fairly big. I like this. Um, it feels good, you know, I've been running here. It's August, it's hot in Colorado. It breathes well. I haven't had an issue so far with the upper. The tongue, again, pretty standard, padded. It's nice and padded. You know, if you're someone that used to running in a Pegasus or something that has a thinner tongue, um, this is much more padded than that. Uh, it's not gusseted, so it tends to move around on me a little bit. I don't know why I have that problem, but tongues tend to slide uh, around on my foot, so I would like a gusseted tongue, but pretty standard, nothing to complain about there. As for the lacing system, traditional flat laces, they're not stretchy, nothing special. You know, I think they could have done better here. I think some shoe companies have a rounded lace that stays tight a little better, have flex laces so the shoe flexes better on the top of your foot. Some have wavy laces so they don't come untied. I think this is just pretty standard, nothing special here. It does seem like there's some reflective uh, dots in the middle of this lacing system, so that's great. But I do feel like the laces are a little narrow, especially considering I need to lace these up to lock my heel down. So I'm using this last little hole um, on the lacing system, which is great to had that, but uh, it feels a little far back and a little too low down. And so the laces feel tight on top of my foot, to be honest. They're too short when I use this last hole to lock my heel down. Okay, let's talk about the heel cup here for a second. They've updated this in the 27 uh, to be a little more robust and lock your heel in a little bit better, but it's also supposed to be lighter weight. Some of the things you'll notice is this plastic exoskeleton used to come up under your ankle right here now it doesn't it's really stiff but unfortunately it just doesn't lock my heel in well there's a ton of padding in in the heel collar in here it, it just doesn't work for me I don't know if it's too soft and that's allowing my foot to have some room I think it's one of the, the issues that this shoe has especially for me my I think that's one of my gripes on this shoe for sure okay let's move to the midsole so the midsole on this shoe obviously the gel Keanu is known for their gel padding back here in the heel one thing they added was a little bit more gel padding up front. It's actually on the inside. They added some gel padding under your big toe joint. If you put your hand in here, you can actually feel it. It's right about here. It feels softer on the inside, and that's supposed to allow, while your foot's flexing, to just have a little more cushioning and shock absorption, so your big toe doesn't feel that ache after long runs. They also use this segmented gel back here. You can see it kind of looks like triangles. This is supposed to add to the shock absorption. That's something new. They've updated a little bit. They've tweaked the drop on this shoe. 10 millimeters in the men's, 13 in the women's, stack height, 23 millimeters in the rear for men, 24, I believe, for women. It's 11.1 .1 ounces for uh, the men's shoe. 
8.8 ounces for women. I think it's a little heavy. You know, I think this exoskeleton heel cup adds to a little bit of that weight. They've got this space trussic hard piece of plastic, which is the stability control. I think that maybe adds a little bit of weight. It's a little heavy. If this could have came in under 10 ounces, I think it would be a better value. Uh, but at 11.1, to me, it's tipping the scale towards the, the medium to heavier side for an everyday trainer with an engineered mesh upper and a low profile like this. The outsole, some of the changes that they made on this are deeper flex grooves so that the toe on this can flex a little better. It does, it flexes nicely. The rubber on it feels nice and firm. I think there's gonna be a lot of durability in the shoe. The shoe is a long distance training shoe, so it should hold up to the rigors. What I did notice is it's a lot firmer in the rear back here than it is in the front. Uh, the front feels a little softer, which again, I think should give it a little softer uh, impact when you're landing on, the, on your forefoot. Altogether, no, no complaints. It, it had great grip on the dry streets here, Colorado. But uh, just so you know, all the technology is a mouthful. And uh, you know, if you wanna check out more of it, please go to runrepeat.com, uh, check out the gel counter. We've got every little bit of technology. You can read the whole review. Um, we outline all of that stuff since I kind of went through it quick here today. Overall pros and cons, comfortable, stability control, it dampens road vibration and impact. Um, it should allow you to run longer distances easily with comfort. Uh, it comes in like eight or nine colors, which is great. I think it comes in three widths. You have a ton of options in this shoe. Um, obviously it's a stability shoe, that's a huge pro if you're a pronator or have flat feet and you need that. I think it's well built. I think that this advances the gel can line and uh, I think it's a good upgrade from the 25 or 26 if this is a shoe you're used to. Okay, let's talk about the cons. I've said it a few times, a little heavy. Uh, I think the laces are too short. I think the heel cup's a little stiff. My biggest gripe is my heel slides around in the back of it. It's not as flexible as I would like, but again, stability shoe. Uh, and lastly, at, at 172 bucks, I think there's other shoes that have greater value, but I, Asics knows that they've got uh, customers that are gonna buy this. Um, so in the end, I still think it's a great shoe, but I think there's some value issues. And, and, and again, the, the heel issue is one that really has me uh, considering if this is something I'll run in in the future. As for the core score, uh, Run Repeat gave this an 89. So obviously a great shoe, great buy. It's a Gel Keanu. If you are a Gel Keanu follower, this is a great shoe for you. Overall, ending impression. Comfortable. I like the upper. I like that all these shoes are going to this engineered mesh upper. I think it's great. It's breathable. It's flexible. I can fit a D without too many problems. You know, I think I think the, the real power of the shoe is it can be a one one shoe that does it all. You know, this can be your everyday trainer. It, it can it's it's responsive enough for 5K times. It, it has the longevity in it to do the marathons and half marathons. If you can only have one shoe and you need a stability shoe, you know, you need something to help you with pronation or maybe you've got shin splints or knee issues. I think this is a great shoe. You've known what you're gonna get with this shoe for 20 plus years now. Uh, and, and some of the updates that they did are nice. Anyway, that's wrapping it up here, guys, with the Gel Keanu 27. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments about the shoe or the review, please leave them below. Uh, if you'd like to check out all of the technical specs, Click the link down here to the right to run repeat and our product page has everything you could imagine on it. We partner with over 200 different brands all over the world uh, to get you the best price. So if 172 ish on the price is a little high for you, uh, check out run repeat. Um, we might be able to find it for you cheaper. You can set a price alert too. So if it goes to the price you're willing to pay, we'll shoot you an email and let you know. Um, but check it out on run repeat and uh, subscribe to this channel for, for reviews in the future. Thanks. I appreciate it.